You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we have got to talk about what's going to change soon and how Deacon Sharp convinces Finn to go on what could be a wild goose chase to find Sheila Carter and all nine of her toes. At this point, I am really starting to wonder whether Sheila herself might be a victim of foul play. We will talk about some really exciting spoilers for May sweeps and how they involve Finn. Deacon and Sheila, plus a special guest star, but please click subscribe if you have not yet. So this week, Deacon has met with nothing but disbelief when he tried to tell three different people that it wasn't Sheila Carter that went into that oven. The first person he told was the morgue attendant who assured him that he would not have attached a toe to someone's corpse that was missing one to prepare them for their funeral. And after he left the crematorium, Deacon's been running everything back over in his mind, quite questioning what he saw, questioning his own sanity. And then Deacon called Sheila's son Finn over to Il Giardino to talk about it. And again, Deacon did his best to convince the good doctor that his biological mother might not be quite so dead. The problem is Deacon has no way to prove what he saw. And of course, what he saw does not make sense at all because as he told Finn, the face was definitely Sheila's, but the feet, well, they just were not. So how do you even explain explain something like that or get someone else to believe you. So far, Deacon's having no luck, but that is going to change within the next week. The third person to hear Deacon ranting about Sheila being not dead was Ridge Forrester, who has the empathy and compassion of a cactus. I personally thought it was real crappy of Ridge to go over to Deacon's restaurant and salt the wound and talk about how Steffi had to put Sheila down like an animal and just all those nasty comments that could have gone unsaid. Ridge could have been anywhere but there and he did not need to stop by and crap on Deacon. But then again, Ridge has been pretty awful for quite a while now, so it's not entirely surprising. And lest we forget, it is totally Ridge and Bill Spencer's fault that Sheila is not in prison right now. If they had not been playing low rent FBI games, she would have gone down for shooting Finn and Steffi. So of course that was just really, really bad writing by Bold and the Beauty because they had to get Sheila out of the corner they painted her into because apparently they didn't plan far enough ahead and then they had to go back and scramble to find a way to get her out of prison to keep her around. Then, as Deacon was dealing with Ridge and his unwelcome comments at his restaurant, Finn completely shocked Steffi by telling her Deacon thinks his mother is alive. I mean, the very idea of that has to freak Steffi out. I mean, she doesn't like the idea that she killed someone, so if Sheila is proven proven alive, as viewers know she is, that might be a load off Steffi's mind, except the thing is, we all know Steffi and Ridge and many others are glad that Steffi stabbed Sheila to death and they are dancing on her grave. It's just too bad that Sheila is not in the grave they are dancing on. So now, let's talk about what's coming in May sweeps and how it changes Finn's stance and he seems to come around to see Deacon's side of things. Sweep starts in about two weeks, so Deacon has a little more time to work on Finn and convince him. And some new spoilers photos for May Sweeps, specifically for episodes airing Friday, April 26th and Monday, April 29th, have Deacon with the good Dr. Finn in a desperate search to find Sheila Carter. Just a quick aside before I tell you what the sweep spoilers are for these two guys and their search, I want to touch on why I suspect Sheila might actually be a victim in all of this. One thing I want to call attention to is that if I have my dates correct, Deacon should know who Sugar is because they were on Bold and the Beautiful during the same era, during the same couple of years. They did have a little bit of overlap. Sugar was a prison warden who let Sheila out back then, and then it was later 
that she turned up on Young the Restless with Sheila's face. So I can see how he, he just, it seems like he should know, you know, the conversations that Deacon and Sheila have had since they've been together, you know, have been very forthcoming about both of their crimes and misdemeanors. And it seems like the topic of sugar would have come up since Deacon should know her name. So I'm just curious to see if B&B is going to write this like Deacon has no idea that there's another woman with Sheila's face alive out there or was alive. She's clearly not alive anymore because I have no doubt that is sugar in the morgue because the morgue attendant would know if it was just a random body with a Sheila mask on it. So that's, it should not be a mask situation. That would be preposterous. So I just feel like Sheila, I don't know if she would have faked her death or not because she knows it would devastate Deacon and it means she would have to leave town basically and stay dead and she adores him. And despite Steffi's, you know, hatred of her, Sheila still hoped she might have a relationship with Finn. So it just wouldn't make sense for her to fake her death and walk away from those people. But Sheila does have enemies and she has a man obsessed with her, Mike Guthrie. So someone else might be holding her against her will. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. All right, now let's talk about these May sweep spoilers. We've known for a while that Clint Howard, Ron Howard's brother, the, the director who used to play Opie on Andy Griffith, he landed a couple of days work on the CBS soap opera in a guest spot. Initially, all we were told was he had two episodes during May sweeps, and some people jumped to the very bizarre conclusion that the homeless guy he's playing might somehow be Luna's dad, which is just insane. I said it at the time, and now I've been proven correct. So there are a couple of spoiler photos of Clint Howard playing this homeless man, Tom, from these upcoming sweeps episodes. I cannot show you the photos right now because they are exclusive to one media outlet. So for copyright reasons, I can only describe them. But as soon as they are released wide to all of the press outlets, including us, I will be able to show them to you. So what the photo shows is this street guy, Tom, and he is in scenes with Deacon and Finn. It is clear to see Finn and Deacon are searching for someone who can only be Sheila Carter. They are asking this guy, Tom, questions in the scene, showing him like in an alleyway with like box boxes and debris and trash behind him. And they're showing him a photo on a cell phone. Looks like they are asking him if he has seen this woman. Clearly they're asking about Sheila. And I suspect that he might have seen her because otherwise they wouldn't have him on for two episodes if he's just going to say, oh no, I haven't seen that woman. Especially when one of those episodes falls on Cliffhanger Friday. Naturally, Steffi is going to hate the idea of Finn going out on a Sheila hunting safari with Deacon, but obviously it's not going to stop him because he is doing it and I've seen photo proof. So we will drop more spoilers when we have them on sweeps and be sure and come back tomorrow for your full weekly Bold and Beautiful spoilers and this weekend for your B&B predictions, two week spoilers and lots more. Be sure to drop your comments and please click subscribe if you haven't and definitely come back soon because we're here talking B&B on your number one soap opera spoilers channel and I'm your host Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 